Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is the second and the final extra video for this project. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a very unique feature that was planned for both Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, but was ultimately scrapped for, uh, well, I want to say the reason was technology limitations, but I'm sure there were a lot of other factors too. But, um... Essentially, these have to do with the eggs and the ice key that Mumbo showed us at the very end of the credit sequence. Now, he did show that there were places in the game where you could collect these items, and if you try to go to those places after that cutscene, you'll find that you can't do that with that part of the game. It's assumed that you're supposed to come back later in Banjo-Tooie to get those, but you never actually go back to those locations in that game. However, there are actually some cheats that will allow you to get some of those eggs and a few other eggs too. And, uh, well, that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to be inserting those codes and collecting those eggs. So, um, very quickly, I'm going to read off one of the codes and, uh, going to type it in. And then later on, I'll show you guys where to, uh, find that particular egg so first one we have is hold on cheat out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes and yes you have to type in cheat uh, before every time you type one of these codes in so uh, gotta find cheats and you know you're typing it in right if uh, you hear the cow sound in the background now I'm gonna go ahead and type in those codes I'll also put the codes in the video description so you can put these codes in yourself and you don't have to worry about actually listening to me say the whole code so yeah be right back And after you enter that code, Shark Food Island will actually rise out of the ground. Or out of the sea, rather. So, we're going to go very quickly pay a visit there. Now, this part should look very familiar to you guys, because, like I said before, this was actually what we saw in that little credit sequence with Mumbo. Snacker, you leave me alone. And sure enough, yep, it's exactly like we saw. We have to uh, climb this little tower, so let's go ahead and do this. And while I'm going up here, I'll go ahead and explain the basic idea between uh, what these eggs and ice key are theorized to do. Well, it was theorized that in Banjo-Tooie, when you play that game and find those items, you are supposed to stop, swap cartridges out, and go back to Banjo-Kazooie where you can collect those items and unlock more cheats and stuff. However, as you know, that did not exactly happen in Banjo-Kazooie and it didn't really work. It seemed like it would work, so at the end of the day, Rare actually scrapped that idea and just kind of put the eggs and ice key in the Banjo-Tooie as just throwaway items that unlock some other goodies in that game, which is kind of stupid, and the idea was definitely cool to connect the two games, but as you can see, it didn't exactly work, so yeah, unfortunately. Anyway, purple egg. Oh, an egg! I'm sure we'll find a use for this somewhere. Yeah, not exactly. Anyway, I believe we can uh, find the uh, stop and swap items if we uh, look in the right place. It may be here, it may not be. Let's go ahead and check. Okay, yep, here we go. So as you can see, the whole process was known as stop and swap. So stop, swap cartridges, come back, and there you go. That was the idea. It didn't work, 
But there are a lot of items in this game that definitely kind of show you that Stop and Swap was being developed. It was in the process of being developed. It just didn't work. But there are other egg locations and I'm going to show them to you guys. So let's very quickly go back to uh, the sand castle. Okay, so now we're back in here and we're going to enter the rest of the codes. Now this is actually going to take me a while to type in all these codes, so I'm going to go ahead and read them off to all of you guys and see if maybe you guys can make some sense of them or where you might be able to find these eggs. And then I'm going to type them all in and then show you guys. So let's go. Let's uh, very quickly scroll up here. Okay. To get the blue egg, the uh, description is... Don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. Second hint. A desert door opens wide. Ancient secrets wait inside. Third description. Amidst the haunted gloom, a secret in the bathroom. Here's the ice key. Now you can see a nice ice key which you can have for free. Another description. This secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. And finally, now Banjo will be able to see it on Nabnut's table. So yes, let's go ahead and uh, type all these in. Okay, I think you guys remember this from the uh, credit sequence. Oh my god, that was weird. Anyway, let's go inside here. And collect our prize. Thank you, Egg. Thank you for allowing me to grab you. Yes, Banjo, it's another one of those eggs. Okay, well, since we're already collecting the items you guys already know about... Uh... Let's go ahead and go for the ice key next. Okay, here we are, back in Waza's cave. To collect the ice key. Yes, we should keep it for later. Anyway, now we're gonna actually, uh... figure out those other hints. They're not really too hard, if you really think about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get going. Okay, so one of the hens talked about a bathroom. Well, Lago's a toilet. And toilets are in bathrooms, so there's the egg right there. But, that's actually not the only one here at Mad Monster Mansion. There is actually another one. If you remember, one of the other hints was about a cellar. Mad Monster Mansion also has a cellar, too, so... Let's go ahead and check that out. And I believe if we go in here... Or one of the other 
weaknesses. Oh, it's this one. This one that previously had an X on it. Okay, that makes sense. We find the blue egg. But that's all the eggs for uh, Mad Monster Mansion, so we're going to go ahead and leave, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Okay, so you remember Rusty Bucket Bay? I unfortunately do. And this place also has an egg. It's the one about the captain's quarters. Or captain's room, or whatever. But yeah, that's the only egg here, so... Off to the last world. The last egg is in here, in Nabnut's house on his table. The hint was very, very clear about where to find that one. But yeah, with that, that should be the last of the stop and swap eggs, so let's go ahead and check. Yep, that's it. So we've collected everything in the game. Uh, so yeah, stop and swap, really neat idea. Really wish they uh, came through with it. Unfortunately, uh, Rare did not decide to go that route, or they couldn't go that route, or they were sold to Microsoft way too soon, to the point where they couldn't even figure it out. So... Basically, this whole thing was unfinished and led to a bunch of game theorists to figure out what exactly is the big secret to stop and swap, or if it even still exists out there. No one really knows for sure, but I'm sure the official word is that uh, Rare had to kind of abandon the idea due to the fact that you couldn't exactly remove a cartridge in play and switch to another game. It just didn't really work that way, and I don't think the 64 had the capabilities of being able to do that, but that was the idea. So now that we've covered all of that, uh, the last few things I want to mention are there are a few secret codes. Actually, not just a few, there's a lot of secret codes. You can use to enhance your gameplay and make it kind of unique and make the game a lot easier as well. There are a bunch of codes where you can essentially just put in as many as you want. Okay, not true. You can't put as many as you want in, but you can uh, basically insert a code that allows you to not take damage. There's one code that allows you to have infinite air when you're breathing underwater, which makes Rusty Bucket Bay a lot easier. And, uh, you know, some codes that allow infinite uses of uh, gold feathers and other items. Basically, codes you can use for fun to make the game really, really cheap or a lot more fun to play. It's up to your own discretion, though, if you want to use these, though, because there is actually a uh, punishment for using too many cheats. I believe if you use up to three cheat codes in one game file, Grunty will come up on the loudspeaker and actually tell you that she's going to delete your save file. And in fact, she actually does. So if you put too many cheats in, the game file that you are playing will be deleted. Uh, Grunty does say she'll delete your entire game pack save data, but that is actually not true. Uh, she'll only delete the file you're playing on. So. Uh, that is what happens with that. And, uh, yeah, I'll post a link to all those codes and put them in the, in the video description. And you can check those out and use them if you want. Uh, I think that's about it, though, for this project. I enjoyed playing it. I will be doing Banjo-Tooie at some point. I don't know when, though, so do not ask me when that's going to be. And, uh, I guess I'll leave you with this. The cutscene you get if you, uh, fail to save your sister and you uh, let Grunty win. Oh, 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 oh,